It's Wingardium Leviosa, not Leviosa. Hello witches and wizards and of course muggles. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you are new and you're just joining us then welcome to the family. All you need to do is tap your wand on the subscribe button to join our community. Today I have a really exciting video for you which is centered all around unboxing my items in preparation for going to Hogwarts. So let's get started. Everything that you need is timestamped below in the description box. All of the businesses I ordered from are also in the description box so that if you like anything you see in the video, you can of course click on the link. So the idea for this video actually came around, I think it was in the second lockdown. I'm not really sure. I just was feeling really nostalgic and I started watching the Harry Potter films and playing a Harry Potter game on my phone. And it just really got me back into the space of Harry Potter. I have loved Harry Potter since I was a child, I definitely preferred the books over the films because I just loved the way things were described. But I just thought it would be really good fun to actually dive a bit more into that. I never bought any of the merchandise or anything like that when I was a kid. So I thought it'd be fun to do that today and to share that with all of you. So this video is broken down into three parts. The first part is me being sorted into my house in case you couldn't already guess what that is. The second part is going to be the unboxing and sharing the items that I ordered with you. And then the third part is going to be something fun and exciting, kind of a surprise at the end. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So originally when I had this idea, I was going to buy the Harry Potter Hogwarts Christmas trunk for my house. And when I thought about it, I thought, do I really wanna support large businesses or large companies? No, you guys know that I love supporting small businesses because I am a small business. And I also really wanted to make a point and make a stand against the comments JK Rowling made against the transgender community, specifically transgender women. If you guys follow me or you are subscribed to my channel, you know I really advocate anti-racism. I feel just as passionately about stopping homophobia or transphobia. I really strongly believe trans women are women and trans men are men. And I also believe if you want to be gender fluid or queer, that is something that should really be respected and honored. So I really disagree with the comments made and therefore I decided not to put my money into the larger company, shall we say, and instead I decided to shop small. So everything I've ordered today is kind of a replica and is of a shop small. Let's find out what my Hogwarts house percentage is. You have made it to Hogwarts, which means you've already bought a wand from Ollivanders. What material is at its core? Well, I think it's already, it knows. <laughs> It knows it would definitely be unicorn hair for me. I love unicorns. So yeah, definitely unicorn hair. During the end of year exams, you notice that one of your classmates is using an enchanted quill. You come top of the class anyway. Okay, well that is just never going to happen with me, but okay. And they come second. What do you do? Tell the professor immediately cheating is wrong. Nothing. But if I hadn't come top of the class, I'd tell the professor. Encourage the other student to admit what they've done wrong or give them a high five for managing to sneak the quill into the exam. Hmm, interesting. I think in the past, I definitely would have told the professor not to like tell on them, but just because I think cheating is wrong. <laughs> but at the same time, I think now probably I would encourage the student to admit what they've done. You would be most hurt if a person called you weak, ignorant, unkind, or boring. Probably unkind. I think that'll be the worst thing. You're locked in a duel with a skilled opponent. They fire an unknown spell at you and you shout, Expelliarmus, Protego, Stupefy, Crucio. Definitely Expelliarmus. There's no way I'd do anything to harm anyone if it was just a silly duel. If it was a real duel, then I'm gonna stupefy you, but it's your fifth year at Hogwarts and you've just received a howler from your parents. What is it for? Oh dear, okay. Is it sneaking into the Forbidden Forest at night, getting caught cheating on your owl, on your divination owl, being put in detention after you were caught in the library after hours, nothing, I'd never do anything to warrant a howler. So I wouldn't cheat in an exam, that's just not something I want to do because I like testing myself. I wouldn't sneak somewhere if it was forbidden. <laughs> and I mean, maybe the detention one because to be honest, I did get into a detention quite a lot when I was um, in school. But then at the same time, I am 
a bit of a goody two shoes. So hmm, depends what kind of mood I'm in, whether I'm in the rebel mood or the goody two shoes one. Oh God, prob I probably would be, yeah, probably would be that one. Which of these Dumbledore quotes speaks to you the most? Pity the living and above all those who live without love. Words are, in my not so humble opinion, our most inexhaustible source of magic. It matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. It does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. I think I like that one. I don't know, just the dreams and forgetting to live. I think that's quite important. Which of these most accurately describes your relationship with your closest friends? I love surrounding myself with people. The more friends I have, the better. I have very few close friends that would trust my, I would trust with my life. I tend to be wary around new people so don't make friends often. I find myself becoming friends with people who can help me succeed. Never. I, I never think like that. Um, I am really shy, but at the same time, if somebody else is quite chatty or friendly, I, I will open up a lot. I do like being with lovely people, but I do like my own space. So to be honest, this one. Which of your skills are you most proud of? Your ability to absorb new information, your ability to make new friends, your ability to get what you want, your ability to keep secrets. Well, I'm a Libran and Librans are kind of known for not being fantastic at keeping secrets. So definitely not that one. I think this one, I'm really good at learning things and um, I've got a photographic memory so I can usually remember things quite well when I'm learning, which is super helpful. So I think that one. The first Quidditch match of the season is approaching and you can't wait to get involved. What role are you playing? The seeker, the chaser, the beater, or the crowd for moral support? Oh, honestly, I just love the idea of being a seeker and I think the snitch is so cute. I love it. So honestly, I'd probably be uh, the seeker. Just floating off, doing my own thing. <laughs> Up in the clouds, looking for this cute ball of gold. Yeah, that sounds like me. You're allowed a pet at Hogwarts. I nearly read that as you're allowed a pen. I was going to say, I hope so. Uh, you're allowed a pet at Hogwarts, either an owl, a cat, or a toad. Which do you bring? Mm. Okay, well, definitely not a toad. Um, I definitely like creatures that are fluffy and that you can stroke. So either an owl or a cat. And I mean, that's quite hard because I do love the idea of a cat and it kind of being in the common room and you can have a little cuddle with it. But then owls are just so cool and they're so interesting and they're so unique. Like, when would you ever get to have an owl? Well, I mean, unless you ran an owlery. So yeah, okay, do you know what? An owl. It's Saturday and you finished your homework. Well, I mean, that's very debatable. I don't think I ever did my homework on time. And you have some free time. You decide to spend some time away from your common room. Where do you go? The forbidden forest, the library, the kitchens, or the room of requirement? Well, probably not the forbidden forest because, as I said, I can be a bit of a goody two-shoes, so I wouldn't want to get in trouble for that. And probably not the kitchens. I find that a really weird option, to be honest with you. Like, why is Hogsmeade not there? <laughs> That's like the first thing I would have picked. So I don't know why you would go to the kitchens. Um, and the room of requirement. Yeah, I probably would never leave. So I'm actually going to say the library. Reading a good book. What would you see in the mirror of Erised? Myself surrounded by riches? No. Nope. Myself surrounded by my loving family and friends? I hope so. Myself knowledgeable above all? I, I Something about that sounds like you're putting yourself above, the, above others. I don't like that. And myself experiencing a marvellous adventure. I do like the idea of an adventure, but honestly, I'm quite a home bird. So probably that one. Choose a deathy hallow. The elder one, the resurrection stone, or the cloak of invisibility? Definitely this one. I think that's so cool. Love it when Harry sneaks to Hogsmeade with his cloak on. Which path do you intend to follow after leaving Hogwarts? I joined the ministry. I want to make a difference in the world. I think I'd travel for a while before committing to a career. I'd settle down and start a family as soon as possible. I'd continue to work hard in order to achieve as much success as possible. Okay, well, I do like the idea of making a difference, but I'm not really one for corporate jobs. They don't really suit me. And I don't know, there's something kind of fishy about the ministry, I think. So probably not that. And I'd love to travel, but... I haven't done that, so I can't really pick that one. And I haven't settled down. So honestly, probably this one. And finally, we all know that the sorting hat takes into account your preferences. So which Hogwarts house do you feel you identify with? Well, in the past, I would have said Hufflepuff or Gryffindor because loyalty is important to me. And I do like um, the idea of Gryffindor, but I don't think I'm kind of sporty or cool enough for Gryffindor. So I actually think Ravenclaw is more me.
You are 32% Ravenclaw, 28% Hufflepuff, 23 Gryffindor, and 17 Slytherin. That's so funny how close, <laughs> how close those two are. There's barely anything. Well, I mean, all of them are close at the top there, but yeah, there's like nothing in that. I'm pretty sure I did this quiz a few weeks ago and I got 46% Ravenclaw. So I don't know what I've changed um, as my answer since then, but yeah, I, I definitely resonate with Ravenclaw. Okay, cool. I'm really excited to see that. I also downloaded the Sorting Hat app and I used their quiz as well to find my house and this was a slightly more thorough quiz. I think there were just over 30 questions but as you can see the result was quite <laughs> quite strongly towards Ravenclaw and I also did the Wand and Patronus quiz as well so you can see my results there but this is kind of what I would have hoped would have happened if I had gone to Hogwarts and been part of the sorting hat ceremony. Mm, let me see. Definitely very loyal. Does enjoy time alone. Not great with plants. Yes, quite creative and intuitive. I think it'll have to be Ravenclaw. So now that we've revealed my house is Ravenclaw, shout out to all my Ravenclaws, why don't we get into more of the unboxing and see what other items I will need for my first year at Hogwarts. Okay, so I have just received my Hogwarts acceptance letter in the post, so why don't we open it up and go through it together. So here is my Hogwarts acceptance letter. It says, Miss Marilee Slayer de Hesse, the second star to the left, the Seven Sisters constellation, the universe. This is sort of an inside joke. <laughs> For all of my star seeds out there, you'll get this. <laughs> Everyone else is probably gonna think this is really weird, but I was like, I don't just wanna put my address in terms of where I live on the planet. That's kind of boring. I wanna put, where my soul comes from <laughs> so i did that and it's so beautifully packaged i have just ripped the seal here because i really want to keep this like this because i'm going to do it as a display so i wanted to keep that with that so i have the hogwarts stamp and the hogwarts wax seal together so i haven't opened this it's really killed me not to i've had it for about three days now um, the owls came quite early when they delivered it so i've saved it to open with all of you okay so inside we have a Hogwarts ticket for platform nine and three quarters one way which actually I didn't know I was gonna get that so that's really cool then we have a note inside from Cornelius Fudge so we need to take this very seriously it says it has come to our attention that muggles are becoming increasingly aware of owls delivering mail it is with regret that the ministry is suspending all owl posts until further notice all letters will be delivered using muggle methods or apparated straight to your locations well that's a shame I'm glad I got in there before they stop doing that. As referred to in decree number 152 of 1994, formerly known as the Ministerial Management of Magical Mayhem. Okay, Cornelius, I will stop ordering things. Then we have my acceptance letter and it says Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wid I can't speak today. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, Headmaster Albus Dumbledore. Dear Marilise, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Please find enclosed a list of all necessary books and equipment. Term begins on September 1st. We await your owl by no later than July 31st. Yours sincerely, Minerva McGonagall, Deputy Headmistress. Oh gosh, okay. So that gives me a few months to get things prepped. That's okay. And then we have a mini version of the Marauders map, which I don't have my wand to open. So let's see if we can just... So this is the miniature version of the Marauders map. It's so cute. If you open it up, look at how much detail this goes into. This is adorable. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, it says. And you can obviously extend the sides. Nothing on the back. And then you open it up. Oh my God, this is so cute. And it opens out. <laughs> this is adorable oh my god look at the detail that's in this so it's got all the different areas hogsmeads potions class transfiguration the great hall divination <gasps> this is so cute oh my gosh at least i won't get lost when i arrive and i can find my way oh the to the herbology and everywhere has included the forbidden forest the whomping willow hogsmead yes this is definitely going to come in useful when i get to hogwarts but look at the detail, I love it so much. I also received my list of uniform, course books, and other equipment that I will need. So why don't we go through that together? Okay, so it says you will need uniform, 
check. You'll need all of your spell books. Check. You'll need a wand. Check. Or you'll need a cauldron. They've put here pewter. Mine's cast iron. I think that's probably less dangerous. <laughs> I feel like pewter would get incredibly hot. A set of glass or crystal files. Well, this is kind of the best that I could do at short notice. I still need to get my brass scales and my telescope, but I do have a crystal ball because divination is my favorite class. And then it says students may also bring an owl or cat or toad. Yeah, we all know I'm going to go for an owl. Oh, and here we have my owl, Barry. This is Barry, everybody. Barry, say hello. Thanks, Barry. You can just sit there for now, Barry. Good owl. And finally, it says parents are reminded that first years are not allowed their own broomsticks. Slightly gutted about that, but maybe that's a good sign, actually, because I would definitely use that. <laughs> I would definitely use that instead of a bus or a car or a train or a plane. Great, so I think I have everything that I need for my first year at Hogwarts. So the next thing I obviously need is my train ticket for when I get to platform nine and three quarters. Obviously you can't get on the train without it. So I ordered this from another small business and it's actually really good quality. It's printed on card, it's nice and firm and it came really quickly in the post. And there's just so many details on it. It says, issue subject to the rules and regulations of the Hogwarts Express Railway Authorities, London to Hogwarts for, for one way travel, platform nine and three quarters. It has to be one way because I'm not really coming back. So yeah, I'll be there forever. So my wand has just been delivered by Owl and it's absolutely enormous. Look at the detail on this box. It's absolutely stunning. I am so excited. This is so much nicer than some of the larger businesses that I spotted ones in. Like look at the detail of this box. It's so pretty. I think this is stunning. I got this from a small business on Etsy again and it just arrived and I'm literally so excited. <laughs> I can't even tell you. Oh my God, this is probably the best bit. The wand is the best bit for me. So I'm really excited. Let's have a look inside. So this is the inside. It's got this fabric ribbon, I suppose. And then obviously a little bit of padding. And then, oh my gosh, <laughs> look at this. Honestly, look at the size of this wand. It's absolutely enormous. And I know that obviously they are all around what, 10, 12 inches long, but this is huge. This is so much bigger than I thought it would be. So here's the wand. Can you see the detailing? I actually went for Hermione's wand, even though she is not a Ravenclaw. I just loved the leaves that are on this. I think they're beautiful. So here's the detailing on the wand. And this kind of reminds me actually of Lord of the Rings, like the elven leaves. And then you have what looks like ivy going up some kind of creeper and then to the tip it's absolutely huge some of the other character ones I saw for Hermione had a flat end and I actually quite like this rounded end I wasn't sure if I would but it makes it more comfortable to hold Accio Expelliarmus it's so much bigger than I thought it would be and the detail is amazing I'm really impressed with this wand. Thank you so much to this Etsy seller, Made in Memories, it's beautiful. Okay, so there is my wand. What is next on the agenda? Let's have a look. Obviously, I will need a uniform now that we have my house. So here is just my everyday sweatshirt for when I'm relaxing in the common room. My robes are still on the way. Obviously, you know, they all have to be fitted and personalized, so. That takes a while. I got this from In The Style. This is the only thing I didn't get from a small business, only because I couldn't find anything that was Ravenclaw that I liked or that was in the UK. So if you guys know of anywhere where you can get a uniform, then please do let me know. This is quite a nice sweatshirt. The only thing is it's a slightly different color from what it looked like on the website. And also the neck is quite tight. That's a little bit uncomfortable, but you know what uniform is comfortable. And the next thing I ordered was a couple of pin badges. So let's just have a look at which one this one is. And again, these are all from small businesses on Etsy. Oh, it's my Hedwig one, so cute. So there is Hedwig, it's really glittery. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, so cute. I thought that was just really sweet to have Hedwig delivering the letter. I mean, you know, it's nice of Harry to lend his owl to Dumbledore to send a letter to me. That's cute, really cute, love that. Let's have a look at 
the quality. So the pin is actually on a piece of card. It's just a really cute little pin badge. I love pin badges. Really excited about putting that with some of my other pin badges. And then the seller included a free bookmark they created. That's really sweet. So thank you for that. And the next item is from Punny Dukes. I just received this in the post this morning. And honestly, couldn't be more excited to show you this. This is so cute. So let's just dive straight in. Okay, so that's inside. You have, it's a really cute packaging actually. So you have, oh, look at this. This is so sweet. Here is the main item I bought, which I'll save for a moment. Just put that to one side. But I did get one of their Raven Paw stickers because it's so cute. <laughs> Look at that, that's adorable. This was £1.50. It's enormous. Like it's practically the size of the palm of my hand. So I will definitely be putting that into my five year journal actually in the front. My little Raven Paw sticker that's so cute. Look at that cat's face. <laughs> And then there's a couple of little stars made out of newspaper cuttings, which are really cute. And then a postcard saying, you are a magical human. And on the back, it says, thank you so much for your support, Marilise. I hope you adore the beautiful and wearable piece of art. Stay magical with love, Natalie. Oh my God, that is such a nice personalized touch. Thank you so much, everyone at Punny Jukes and Natalie for this really cute card. I really appreciate that. And let's have a look inside. They've even got their little Punny Dukes logo on their sticker there, which is so cute. Okay, so this is the pin badge I ordered from Swish and Flick. Swish and Flick does have a website and they are on Etsy. However, I ordered this from Punny Dukes because I wanted to support a UK business and at the same time, I'll be supporting an American company, which is really exciting. So it's got the double pin at the back, 20 pounds in UK. I know it was, I think it was 14 pounds something on the Swish and Flick Etsy shop, but obviously you have to add shipping and import taxes and things nowadays. But it says, in our dreams, we enter a world that is entirely our own. And then you have this golden snitch just sweeping its way around the towers. How cute is that? I don't know if you can see how glittery that is, but that's so pretty. I just thought that was really nice. And I got it in blue because obviously Ravenclaw colors. So this is so cute. I can't wait to wear this. So thank you so much, Punny Dukes and Swish and Flick. There is a close-up of Hedwig and my Hogwarts letter enamel. This is so cute. What an adorable little pin badge. I think that's going to go really nicely with the other one. They've got nice orangey golden tones together and lots of glitter. So Okay, and finally, I did go for another pin. This one, I feel, is the most Ravenclaw one that I liked that I could find. And actually the company I bought this from, which is Nutmeg and Arlo, I found them on Instagram. And when I found this pin badge, I wasn't sure if I should get it. And I kind of hesitated buying it. And then I went back a few days later and it had sold out on the website. And I thought, oh no, I missed out on a good, a good pin badge there. This is such a beautiful pin badge. I reached out to the seller and she very kindly told me that she had a seconds and she could offer me that one and sent me a, fo a photo of it and then put it up on the website for me to purchase, which was so sweet. Really, really love that, that you know, small businesses will try it and help you wherever they can. So thank you so much to Nutmeg and Arlo for this. So I'll have a look inside. I kind of don't want to even rip this, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. This little card saying, you're amazing. Here it is. Can you even see that? How beautiful is this? So this is obviously Luna. It has a tiny mark on the nose, which you can barely see. I love it. It looks like a stamp, which is so cool. And look at her spectra specs and her earrings. It's so cute. I love it. <laughs> this is lovely. I love this little card as well. Oh, so sweet. It's got a note saying, thank you so much for your order and for choosing to shop small. I'm over the moon that you chose to spend your hard earned money in my shop. You are awesome. Love, Lindsay. Oh, thank you so much. This is adorable. I'm going to keep this. I love this. This smiley little face. But I think this is going to look lovely with all of the other pens I ordered. So I'm really excited to put this on my uniform, ready for my first day at Hogwarts. Okay, so now that you have seen all of the items that I ordered, let's go ahead and pop the pin badges on the jacket I'll be wearing them with, which I will obviously wear when I go to Hogsmeade at the weekends. So I know you're obviously not supposed to do magic outside of Hogwarts, but hopefully they'll make an exception for this. Akio jacket. Ooh. So this is the jacket I usually put my pins on. As you can see, it's super cute. Already got a couple of pins on there. I have one that says, self-care is survival, self-love is sacred. And she believed she could, so she did. And then spells, because that's important. 
and forever because I love dogs and cats and all animals, to be honest. So let's go ahead and put my new pins on there and put them all together and see what we think. Okay, so what do you guys think? I've put the three here. We have Luna, Hedwig, and then the Hogwarts with the snitch and the little stars. Oh, hang on, that star's cool. There we go. <laughs> I think it looks really cute. What do you guys think? This is perfect for like going to Hogsmeade, ready to have some butterbeer. And actually, speaking of butterbeer, if you guys know anything about me, then the one thing I was obsessed with as a kid was the idea of butterbeer. I just thought it sounded really delicious. I love butterscotch sweets. I was always so keen to try it. And I didn't actually know until a few years ago that they made it, but I just never got around to buying it. And I was going to buy it, as I said, from the official Harry Potter shop. However, I've decided that I'm going to actually make it myself, which <laughs> this could go horribly wrong, but hopefully it won't. So yeah, let's get into that. Akio ingredients. Okay, so here are the ingredients for making butter beer. I just need to put the mixer together. Also, let's just check out how cute that looks. We have double cream, melted butter, sugar. I've already put the cream soda in with some toffee sauce. I couldn't find butterscotch, but I just slightly melted the toffee sauce, which is actually meant to go on ice cream and desserts, but it's all good, it still works. All you have to do is whisk the cream until it's kind of soft peaks. You can do stiffer ones if you prefer, but I don't want my cream too thick. And then add the sugar. You are supposed to add vanilla, but I think that might be too sweet. So instead, I'm just going to add sugar and butter and we shall see. Okay, let's have a go. Hello. Okay, so welcome to my <laughs> makeshift kitchen. And let me just put my mixer together. I'm really excited to try this, but I'm also really worried that I'm going to get it terribly wrong. So wish me luck. So I'm just going to whisk my cream. Let me just put some music on because this is going to make such a racket. It does help if you switch on. Here we go. You'll notice when you're whisking it, it'll just go from being quite bubbly to looking like it's making patterns. That's when you're starting to get to where it's really gonna start making peaks. So that's when you wanna kind of slow down and check maybe every 10 seconds because over whipped cream is disgusting. So don't over whip it. We're getting there. I'm gonna add my sugar now like so, and just continue to whisk. Great, then you can add the melted butter to give it that buttery goodness. Thank God this is locked down and no one cares about diets. I think if I do any more, it's gonna be too much. Look at how good that is. Can you see those peaks? Yeah, baby. Hang on, I've gotta get these off. I don't think they come out very easily. <laughs> Let me just turn it off, hang on. Well, that looked, yeah, that's great. There we go, ta-da! <laughs> I just get my drink. I just need to stir it because some of the toffee sauce has just gone to the bottom. It's not as kind of orange as it probably should be for butter beer, but that's okay. This I should have got a bigger spoon. This is going to take me about an hour to spoon this in here. You may wish to make your own butter beer and come back in the time that it takes me to do this. <laughs> I did not think I had. It smells amazing, by the way. This is going to be the only time that I make anything in this space and not in the kitchen because genuinely i can't get all of me in so i'm just crouching which is a good workout for the legs but i might have made too much cream but that's okay we can do something else with it you know waste not want not look at it it's so good i'm so excited oh no i forgot my straw oh, no. <laughs> oh man okay so there you have my homemade butter beer i'll just grab a straw and then we can try it i say we obviously me I'll just tell you that it tastes nice and smells good. Okay, I have returned with my straw. Let's give this a try. Oh my God, that's so good. <laughs> Where have you been all my life? Oh dear, this is amazing. <laughs> I might be obsessed. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in next week's video. And don't forget to put your house in the comments below so we can all connect with one another. And I will see you next week.